Okay, let me start with the question. What are you afraid of? What are the things that hold you back from being all God wants you to be? Are, are, are you caught up in fear? See, fear is an obstacle for, for spiritual growth. We all know that. It saturates our hearts and it permeates through our families when we're a mom or a dad. And it's the cause of anxiety. Uh, fear is the cause of terror. Fear is the cause of dread. It causes us to run, engage, or stall, or uh, flight, fight, or freeze. And it's easy to get caught up in the fears of the world. We can obsess over everything from the government to the economy. If there's not something today that gets us riled up, we'll borrow something from tomorrow. We live in a day when people, even believers, live in fear. But Peter directs us to a different course. First Peter chapter 3, 13 and 14. Now, who is there to harm you if you are zealous for what is good? For even if you should suffer for righteousness sake, you'll be blessed. Have no fear of them, nor be troubled. Who is there to harm you if you are zealous for what is good? As followers of Jesus, we're not to buy into the fears of the world. We're, we're, not, to, we're not to fear what they fear, Peter says. Our focus is to be the Lord Almighty, the one who is holy. When our eyes are on God, we can live with Peter's instruction. Have no fear, nor be troubled. So back to the question, what are you afraid of? What's holding you back? What fear are you caught up in? Give it to the Lord. Let him have it. Now, who is there to harm you? If you are zealous for what is good, who is there to harm you if you're following hard after God? Father, each of us have um, fears, things that uh, cause anxiety, uh, things that creep into our life. Sometimes it's fears about our kids. Sometimes it's about government, economy, uh, our health, different things going on in our life. But Father, I pray that we would give all those things to you, hand them over to you. And we would let you take that fear and replace it with your peace, with your calmness. And I pray, Father, that we'd be reminded, if you're on our side, then we have nothing to fear. We thank you. In Jesus' name, amen.